welcome back to my channel i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell okay let's get this day started okay good morning um i just woke up it's another rainy day in um chicago um so it's very gloomy outside very wet um i haven't had a chance to go out there and see my little babies but that's okay hopefully the rain will stop and i'll be able to go out there and check on them but this morning i'm going to use the um what is it the dr brent vacuum cleaner pour purifying mask that i received in my um boxy charm so let's test this out together and see how it works out so i'm going to wash my face and then I'm going to apply the mask and I'm going to show you guys how I apply, apply the mask. So this is the cleanser that I use to um, clean my face. And I did receive this cleanser in one of my um, beauty subscription boxes. Um, so I just wash my face like normal with water. And here are the results from the first step in just cleansing my face. And then here's the mask um, in my hand. Um, so I tried to apply a thin layer like it said on the direction. So this is what the mask is looking like while it's wet. And then 20 minutes later. Okay, guys, it's been about 20 minutes um, and it finally dried down. The directions say leave it on for 5 to 10 minutes. But after 10 minutes, my cheeks were still wet. So I waited an additional 10 minutes. And as you can see, it's still not completely 100% dry but dry enough that I'm going to take it off. And on the back of the tube, it says that you will feel a cooling sensation. And I did feel a cooling sensation. In fact, I still feel the cooling sensation. But y'all, this stuff stinks so bad. Oh my goodness. It smells like, first of all, my face is tight. So I could barely um, show any facial expressions right now. My face is so, so tight. Um, but it feels like I slapped some nair on my face. So I'm hoping that I still have some eyebrows. Um, once I take this mask off, um, oh my gosh, the smell is so bad. Um, I wish I could make a facial expression to show you how bad it smells. But my face is so, so tight. Um, but yeah, I'll check back in and show you the results once I um, take this mask off. So here's the before picture before I applied the mask. And then here is the after picture after I removed the mask from my face. Okay guys, so my face is clean. I threw on some makeup, um, just some eyeshadow. I filled in my brows and I threw on some lipstick. Um, so this is the look I am going for today. And I used my Jaclyn Hill palette, um, eyeshadow palette for the eyes. Um, and then I have on Marc Jacobs mascara. And then for the brows, I have the It's Cosmetic brow pencil to fill it in. And then I have on some Milani liquid lipsticks. I use two to kind of create an ombre effect. Um, at least I tried. Um, but anyways, now that we're done cleansing our face and putting on a little bit of makeup, I wanted to show you guys, I had saw in a video on YouTube, um, people decorating trays and I thought it was so neat. So I said, let me throw some, um, ideas together for decorating trays. So stay tuned to that. I hope you enjoy. Okay guys, without playing around with anything, this is how my front room is currently looking as far as my tray that I have on my front room table. Um, so on my tray, I have some candles that I got from Walgreens. I had got them on sale, buy one, get one, 50% off. So I had got two. And then I have this book that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I just have some dry flowers in a vase that I got from the dollar store. I got the vase from the dollar store. And I got the dry flowers from Hobby Lobby. And then I have these little brass elephants that I love so much. I love elephants. Um, and it plays in with the gold that's in the tray. So this tray is kind of a um, like a tillish brown color. I really love it. Um, and I got these elephants from my mom. Um, so I don't know where she got them from, but they are so cute to me. And then right next to the tray, I just have some um, African art. Um, I'm all about African decor. I actually have some African um, art on my wall as well. And I need to get more 
um, but yeah, this is how I currently have my tray in my front room. So now I'm going to switch it up a little bit just to show you how you can um, dress up trays different ways depending on your style and personality. Okay, so for the first look, I actually took a ball and put it inside the tray. And in this ball, you have some wooden balls and some other, I think that came in like my potpourri kit. And I got this from Hobby Lobby. And then I kept the elephant in there. And then I have some dried roses. So every Friday or whenever I can, I try to get some fresh flowers from um, my local Mariano's because they usually have really good deal on Fridays for fresh flowers. But with mini roses, you can let them dry out and they look pretty as if you bought them this way. So this actually was fresh flowers at one point and I let them dry out and then I cleaned out the glass, the vase that it was sitting on, in. And again, I got the vase from the dollar store. Um, and it turned into some cute decor, some home decor. So. Okay, and here are the flowers when they were fresh. Again, I got this from my local Mariano's and I think I spent only $5 because that's usually the deal. They have tulips, mini roses, whatever the flower is of the week, they'll have it on sale on Fridays for $5. Um, so just let it sit in the vase and dry out and then clean your vase and put the dry flowers back in and it is so pretty and it lasts for a very long time. Okay, so here's another look. And I'm just grabbing all of these items from around the house. So I kept the dried out flowers and I brought back the candles that I had got from Walgreens. And then I just added a brass or gold geometric piece and added it to the tray. Now you don't want to overfill your tray. Um, you want to leave some space um, so that it's not crowded. But here's another look, another idea. Okay, so with this look, I took some of my dry lavender that I already have in a vase. And I got this dry lavender on sale at Whole Foods. And it's in a um, vase that I got from the dollar store, from Dollar Tree. And I just paired it with a little trinket, a little gold trinket that I had. And I brought back the book and the candles. I love candles on trays. But here's another look. Okay, and here's another look, just in case you're not into candles. I just added the elephant, um, the geometric shaped um, object, and the lavender to the tray. Now watch what happens when you change out the lavender for um, the dried flowers. Okay, so here's the same look. I just changed out the dry lavenders for the um, dried flowers. Um, very pretty, very elegant. And this is if you don't like candles. Now let me add a pop of green. Okay, in this look, I just added some candles, um, a folk plant, and I put it on top of the book, and I added an elephant, and it makes for a very classic look. You could probably put this in a study or something. That's what I'm envisioning. Okay, so here's another look that I can envision being in someone's study. I got the faux plant, the faux greenery. I got the book, some candles, and I have the elephants back in there. But this is very cozy looking, um, especially at night. If you turn the candles on, it looks like um, it gives the impression that you could just grab the book and read it. And then if you had like a basket close by with... Um, some sort of um, throw thrown in it that would look really nice very cozy okay guys and you are not limited to just using faux or dry flowers you can definitely add a live plant to your tray so here I added my peace lily this in this pretty pot that I got from TJ Maxx um, and then I added some birds because I thought that would play on the um, actual live plant and then I added the candles back. But let me show you another look using the real um, the real plants. And there's Pearl in the background. Okay, so here's another look with the live plant. I added um, two flower plaques that's sitting um, in some gold, um, on some gold like holders. Um, and then I added back my brass 
um, elephants. I thought this was really cute and elegant and kind of summery. Um, so if you have good lighting, um, although peace lilies don't require a lot of direct light, but if you have good lighting, you could definitely add um, your plants, live plants to your trays. You are not limited to faux flowers or dry plants. Um, and the one thing, I know this is off the subject, but the one reason why I got the Peace Lilies, because they are very low maintenance, they don't require a lot. Um, when they get ready to wilt like this, when it's starting to wilt just a little bit, that's the indication that it needs more water. Um, and it doesn't require um, direct sunlight, which in my house, um, we keep the shades closed for the most part for privacy. Um, so these plants thrive under a lot of different conditions. So if you don't have a green thumb, um, although I consider myself to have a green thumb because I have a garden outside, um, but if you don't have a green thumb, definitely look into getting a peace lily. Um, they're very versatile, um, hard to kill. Um, you pretty much have to neglect it, like really just forget that you even have lab flowers in your house for um, a month or two. Um, but other than that, it's very low maintenance. You don't, it doesn't require a lot. And I actually have two of them in my house um, just because they are low maintenance. And you can actually repot these in really big pots and they will get massive. I know sometimes you may go into people's homes or into businesses and you see these big gigantic plants. Here are one of them um, that gets really big and is very low maintenance. So I love peace lilies. Okay, so let me show you one more look using live plants. Okay, and then for this look, I added the brass ducks um, with the live plant, and then we have the wooden ball with the balls in it. I thought this would be elegant, and the ducks add a little bit of masculinity to it, so this would be perfect in an office, studio, pretty much anywhere in the house, but I envision it being in an office or a studio. So very, very nice, elegant, but masculine look. So let's move on to a different type of tray and look okay so for the second tray look i am using the tray that i have currently um, on my vanity um, in my room and this is how i actually have it um, styled in my room so let me show you some other looks that you can use with this particular tray with the glass okay so using the small tray that came out of my bedroom i added the dried roses that i dried myself and I added the candles back and I put a little gold trinket on it. And I thought that looked very elegant. Now with smaller trays, they're a little more difficult to um, style because you're limited on space. Um, and again, you don't want to overcrowd um, your tray. So I thought this was cute and elegant. So let me show you another style. Okay, so here's a tray idea. I just switched out the flowers for lavender. I kept the candles, but then I added the word love. I thought this was really cute and sexy. You could probably add this to like your bedroom um, or to your vanity area. I thought this was really cute and different. Now I'm gonna change out the lavender and show you with adding uh, flowers just how even more elegant it could look. Okay, so I just simply changed out the lavender and added this faux plant that I got from Marshalls. Um, and I kept the word love and I kept the candles. I thought this would be really pretty in maybe a bedroom or um, by a vanity, on a vanity. Really pretty. So let me show you another look you could do with a small tray. Okay, so here's another look. Um, it's a little different. So I played with the dry flowers that I dry myself and I played with the faux plant. And I just added a little bowl of potpourri um, again, this will be really pretty to add to maybe um, a sun porch, um, a bedroom. It's just really pretty, um, nice colors, kind of vibrant. You still have like an element of sophistication with the dry flowers. Um, very pretty. Okay, let me show you another look with a small tray. Okay, so here's another look. I added a different type of faux flower. Because the book is so big, I put it on an angle. I had it hanging outside of the tray. And then I have the elephants back in there. Now, this is something that you could put in the office, in a study, um, in a bedroom, front room, anywhere. This is very versatile. And then I just added some um, candles to the side to make it look more um, inviting, like someone had just lit some candles and read a book. 
Um, I thought that was really cute. And these little candle holders uh, was a DIY project that I did where I had got some candle holders from Hobby Lobby. Um, they were on sale on clearance because the color was god awful. So I spray painted them with some metallic gold spray paint. And then I took some candles and I lit them and then put them out so that it could have that um, burn effect. So this is another cute idea. So I took out the elephants and I added two brass ducks. Um, so this is definitely a look that you can put in a study or in the office. Um, very pretty. I love the ducks. Um, so here's another idea. And again, playing with the small space. Sometimes you can have items um, hanging out of the um, tray um, just to maximize the space. Very pretty. Okay, so I really hope that all of these um, little snippets of different ways to decorate a tray inspired you. In case you are shy or don't know what to do with the tray, go out, get one, buy some other pieces that um, bring some warmth to you. Your space is supposed to be inviting for you. It's supposed to bring you peace and happiness. So make sure you buy pieces that you like and just throw them together on a tray. There's no right or wrong answer. As you can see, I played around with the Faux flowers, real flowers, um, dry flowers, no flowers. So just do what makes you happy, um, and I promise it will come out the way that you want. All right. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed that video. And if you did, please subscribe and click that notification bell so that you don't miss another upload. Thank you so much for joining.